Yo, what's up, friends? If you're new here, my partner Stacy and I are taking a 1976 Toyota Chinook, putting a 1996 Land Cruiser chassis under it, building it, and driving the Pan America Highway all the way to Southern Argentina. So far, we have gutted half the interior, we've lifted the Chinook body off its original chassis, and are prepping the 80 series chassis to get rolled underneath. Stay tuned because we got a lot to cover, and this is gonna be super exciting. This video is brought to you by Westcan Overland and Off-Road Design. Jason has kindly offered to sponsor this build and help us build this dream vehicle. Check out this work he just did on this Troopy. This bumper is absolutely insane. You can check out his website for more information and if you want to get kitted out on your rig. We got a hell of a lot done in the last episode. And right now we're about to roll this 80 series chassis under our 1976 Toyota Chinook. This is one of the biggest parts of the project and it's happening really fast thanks to Jason and West Can Overland. Yeah, the thunder and the uh, Making the purists mad today. No! Don't do it! We graduated from Grinder to Torch. This is our problem right here. Well, we spent the entire day leveling and measuring and then re leveling and re measuring. So now we can finally make the mounts to attach the body to the new chassis. And in the meantime, I'm gonna pull this grill out before it gets broken. Wow, I've never seen a two-piece grill before. There we go. Okay, next up is making custom body mounts. So I'm gonna start on the front one. So we gotta go from this center hole here down to somewhere around here. And in my journey to become a great fabricator of metal things, I first have to become a great fabricator of cardboard things. It's a good thing that the best cardboard for this kind of stuff is beer boxes. We like drinking beer, so this works out well. I've also been lucky enough to learn from him and become somewhat of an amateur fabricator myself. A year ago, I didn't know how to weld, I didn't know how to bend metal or do anything on CAD. This is all just put in the time and effort to learn a new skill and I encourage you to do the same. An amateur. Just finished drawing body mount number three. This is the middle one in between the cab and the camper. These three different plates. 
and weld together to make this. I just finished welding this one up. Looks pretty good. When the paint company gives you the wrong paint. You guys saw the GoPro footage of the awful paint that was right there, the little blue mark. I finally got the matching. So we've done POR 15 on both these corners and touch of paint. We did keep some of the patina to keep you people happy. And now I'm tackling these guys. They're gonna get a layer of POR 15 in maybe black. As you can see, someone else did black. Um, these came really shiny, which is super awesome. And yeah, that's where I'm at. Ew, egg cam. <laughs> Alright, so we got a brand new body mount kit for the cab. And yeah, these are from Energy Suspension. This is for an 83 Toyota pickup. And yeah, they're all they're all sleeved, you know, typical stuff. So a little sleeve goes in there, then the bolt slides in through. Yeah, it's gonna work perfect and perfect and nice. <laughs> Now this right here is a very exciting part of the build. This is actually a gift from Lauren Day. Huge shout out to her and Red Dog Overland. If you wanna go check her out on Instagram, she has some cool products for sale on her website. Definitely go give her a follow. So I reached out, if you follow us on Instagram, looking for an adapter plate for our 3.4 to go to a gear driven transfer case. And Lauren reached out and said that she had something that might help. And what she had is the exact adapter plate that we need. And she very kindly donated it to the build. So that saved us a ton of money, a ton of time. Huge thanks to her. It's the Mar Marlin Crawler kit. And yeah, super grateful for that. So we can check that off the list. Looks like we got a little surprise here too. Howdy, hope the adapter works well for you guys. Here are some of the stickers my company sells. If you feel obliged, a shout out would be rad. Oh, well we took care of that already, Lauren. So thanks so much for the stickers. And again, go check her out. Okay, so this is gonna be one of the rear camper mounts. We're almost making a kind of subframe for it. So this piece is cut to fit and it's going to go let's see, in here. It's a tight fit, which is what we want. It's going to go here with a, uh, this would be a one inch uh, rubber spacer there. And then I'm going to mount it uh, straight down to the frame. And there's going to be another one that comes this way forward. What this is going to help us do, it's going to create a bit more rigidity in the camper and it's also going to allow us to build custom hangers for uh, gas tanks and storage boxes which are going to go on the sides. 
sorry about the crazy LED by light vibrations, but yeah, this is gonna go like this and hold that guy up. Hopefully I can fill that weld in and then, yeah, something like that. just tacked in the last of 10 body mounts so once I burn those in we can put this thing on its own weight which is absolutely thrilling because then it'll roll and then all the other stuff can happen because we couldn't really do anything else because we have to be so careful it's on these stands and we don't want to push anything so it's misaligned so this is this is big all right we have double and triple confirmed that these New mounts are in the right spot, and it's time to burn them in. So these will probably be the most important welds of my life because they are literally holding our camper together. <laughs> so, wish me luck. day for us you saw the thumbnail it's not clickbait we're about to take this truck off these stands put it on its own weight for the first time that's it it's officially on its own weight This is a absolutely monumental day. Yeah, the, these are the days that make it everything worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on its own weight. It's sitting. We have half of the wheels on 35s. <laughs> half looks really cool. This is huge, honestly, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This mm -hmm. is this is literally still just the beginning mm -hmm. of Toyota World Runners and of this build. Yeah, yeah. This is proof of blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And this means all the fun stuff can start happening. Now that it's on its own weight, we can start making like bumpers, sliders, getting the engine in, 
doing all the interior build, like everything can happen now that we don't have to worry about bumping body mounts and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still got a little more finishing up to do on some little bit of rust repair here, but yeah, this is <laughs> this is day. the day I was waiting for for yeah. so long. Yeah, it's a very exciting day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time because this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. <laughs>